everyone, I'm Charlene. It's been quite a while since I've done a video, so I'm a little bit nervous today, so hopefully everything goes well. I was lucky enough to be sent a package, a wonderful package, by the Beauty Bulletin ladies as part of their 50 Shades of Lust for Lipstick, which coincided around Valentine's Day. And I'm finally at a point where I can happily review all the products and give my true feedback on them. I'll start off with the lipstick, seeing as that is the main character in this box. I got a wonderful, let me just get this, Dior Addict Extreme Lipstick in shade Lucky. The packaging of this is just absolutely fantastic. It is amazing. It's everything I'd actually hope for it to be. Those of you that do follow my blog will know that I've mentioned in many of my Wishing Wednesday posts and makeup posts how much I would love to try Dior's makeup products. And this is my first sort of entry into trying out their products. So I was really, really overjoyed, as I'm sure many of you saw in the review that I wrote. You can start out with the amazing packaging. I don't know if you can see that, but at the bottom you've got Christian Dior and Dior on there as well, just to really cement in your mind that you are using a luxurious brand. So as mentioned, I got the color Lucky. It is a bright pink fuchsia that can really be built up to be as bright as this or be quite translucent on your lips. I put it on quite dark today just so that it does pick up in the camera, but I'll show you, you can see how we, if it will come up just how much control you have over the color. You can go for a really nice light shade for during the day and build it up for a nice cocktail evening if you so choose. And um, one thing that I like to do when applying bright lipsticks like this, I don't know if other people use this method, is I have a nude um, lip pencil that I use and I color in my lips and then apply and I find that the bright lipsticks do tend to last quite long. This one has Quite an average stain time. It's not meant to be a lip stain, but it lasts incredibly well. What I like is that as it starts to fade, it becomes almost a matte pink that I find to be quite a nice neutral shade. So you can wear it and allow it to fade without it looking dry and cracked on your lips or ugly. So it's safe to put it on, leave your lipstick at home if you need to, go out to your shopping and you won't look like a clown by the end of it. Okay, next in the package that I got was the Sally Hansen Salon Effects Nail Appliques, which is made from real nail polish, which I really, really love. I've tried other ones that are made sort of a foil or like funny plasticky stuff, and it's just not the same. You need to invest in getting ones that are made of proper nail polish, so I was delighted with this. I've got shade 802, which is Take the Stage. So it is very much an outgoing color to use. It's a black, almost gray, glittery nail polish that is really fantastic. I've had this on for five days now. It's actually starting to grow out of the cuticles, as you can see, and it's starting to show where's the signs of chipping and wear on their tips there. But that is because I type all day long, furiously for nine, ten hours a day. Then I come home, do my blog posts and reviews on Beauty Bulletin, and it's also living up to and putting up to all the everyday life strains that you put it under, doing dishes, washing your hair, doing stuff like that. So this is incredible value for money. I'll just quickly show you what the applique looks like. It's like that and you'll just peel it off. I'm not going to do that now because I actually want to use this strip again. But it comes in a little sealable pack like this. I haven't opened these yet. I've used the other pack for this manicure and what was nice was because these, let me just get it, this applique is so long, I was actually able to use one applique on two nails. I would apply the one and then use the excess on the other, which is really fantastic. So you're able to really stretch this and use this multiple times. And another thing that I really like about these little packs, not all of them come with it, but it's got a little mini nail file with a buffer on the end and a little nail file, as well as a little cuticle stick. And these are fantastic for your makeup bags. So I love little things with gimmicky things like that, because it does mean that you can use it afterwards as well. The last thing I got was the Avril Lavigne Wild Rose Perfume. I am crazy about perfume, but I really write reviews on them because I'm never too sure how to express the proper smell and fragrance of these. It's difficult to put into words because perfume smells so different on each individual. So you can spray it on a piece of paper and smell it that way, but it's not the same as what it actually smells on you as a person. 
But I must say, I really do love this perfume. At first when I got it, I was apprehensive because it's a celebrity fragrance. So you know it's going to have notes in it that appeal to the mass market. And a lot of the time the ingredients used in these perfumes aren't that long lasting. But I find that this thing you need to apply sort of lunchtime and then you've got the fragrance lasting throughout the day again. Okay, the packaging of this. For those of you that have read my review, you'll know that I have mixed feelings about this bottle. It's got a plasticky rose lid, to, in keeping with its name, and when you release the lid, it has a little ring, which is really quirky and cute, so they have put some nice thought into designing this bottle, and I think for a younger audience, they would love this little quirky aspect. One thing I said I didn't like about this bottle was the funny spray-painted frosted look at the bottom of it, because it does look quite nasty especially at the bottom it looks almost like plasticky and like someone took a white spray paint spray paint can and just sprayed on it because they were a little bored i think it would look so classy and lovely if it was just the plain pinkish bottle all the way through but that being said they didn't compromise on the spray mechanism i'm going to try and see if you can pick up on the mist how great and even it sprays the mist hopefully it picked up but that is really fantastic about this bottle. A lot of cheaper perfumes, when you spray, it tends to squirt out and it runs down your neck. I find it very, very unpleasant to use then. But this really does for a nice fine coating. So you can spray it on your chest and you're completely coated here, which is fantastic. The smell is very pleasant. It's very feminine, girly type of smell. Um, obviously it has some rose smells in it, but they balanced it so nicely with some fruity aspects. Um, grapefruit is apparently one of the main um, fruity component, sorry, components of it. Um, but what I like is it doesn't have a bitter grapefruit smell. It's got the nice ruby, rich um, smell that um, you often find. And it settles on almost a creme, sorry, a almost vanilla smell, which is actually accredited to being a creme brulee smell, and I love creme brulee, so I love that little quirky aspect as well. I'd like to thank Beauty Bulletin for this fantastic package, and I'm glad I got him back into doing videos, and hopefully they will improve again once I get into the hang of it. Thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to put up all your reviews as well. Bye-bye.